Let's go. All right, guys. Well, welcome to our m new Monday AMAs. Uh, from this point forward, until the until we ever decide to change it again, our our AMAs are going to be at 3 p.m. PST every Monday and every Thursday. So it's about an hour and a half earlier than we, what we usually have been doing. So this is the first time we're doing it. I think we're gonna um, pretty much adapt to this pretty quickly. <clears throat> I'm back. I'm back home. If you guys hear me yawn today, don't don't get offended. I'm not bored or anything like that. I'm just tired. Uh, <laughs> I'm jet lagged. I've I've been um, staying away. I pulled an all nighter all last night, so I'm just trying to fix my sleep schedule and whatnot. But we got some 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 things I want to talk to you guys about today. Some pretty cool updates and um, actually something that um, happened today that was pretty much a a uh, I'll, I'll get into it right now, but anyway, let's get right into that, actually, what I wanted to talk about. So this is a key reason why, you know, if people are always like, oh, you know, the contract's not, well, they, they, they don't say it anymore, but they used to say it when we first launched. But they're like, oh, the contract's not renounced, renounce the contract, this, that. But people don't realize that for projects that renounce the contract, they can never send updates. They can never send hot fixes. They can never send, they, they can't change the contract whenever something breaks or whenever something needs to be fixed or whenever something just needs to be updated in the future. Today we saw um, that Burn pretty much needed a hot fix sent to it. So there was something that, that kind of like went wrong with the, um, a function called swap and liquify so something needed to be updated with that function you know some users were having issues buying some issues some users were having issues selling and i thought initially i thought it was a uniswap problem which it was but it, it also had to do with a a part of the code in in uh, burn that needed to be updated too so it just goes to show you how important it is for these contracts to not be renounced. So when you're investing into a project and the project's contract is renounced, for me personally, I know for some people it's a good thing and they like that, but for me personally, I don't like that. I think that's one of the biggest red flags in my opinion. Is The only reason is because it could be working perfectly fine on that given day, on that given week, on that given year, but then, you know, one day something would probably need to be updated and you know there is no team that's going to be able to call any function to fix anything or or do anything about it if the scenario uh arises right which it did for us today and we very quickly fixed it took us less than an hour probably about 30 30 minutes something like that and we got a hot fix rolled out so you know it just comes to show you guys like work with if you when you guys are investing in projects make sure you know you, you find a trusty dev team people who are on top of their stuff people who can actually um you know fix issues when they arise and and just people who are trustworthy in the space i know i mean that's easier said than done that's why you guys are here at shiba doge where we've pretty much already laid out all of those fundamentals for you guys and we let you guys know you know everything that we do full transparency and obviously if the entire if the rest of the the dex market was was like us then <laughs> uh crypto would be the safest space in in the west and the east and the south and the north right so um hopefully we set a standard for people who are actually looking forward to to starting their own projects in the future and hopefully we can continue to keep the bar raised and and raise it higher and higher as as we uh progress now with that said you know progressing is definitely one of the things that we're we're aiming for and progression is something that is a big big goal for this year and when I say progression, I just mean like our projects growing, our communities growing, you know, the the, the whole spiel. You guys know what's up. Um, now, February is going to be a big month. February is going to be a big month because everything that we've been waiting for is coming out pretty much in February, um, which is our goal. So um, it's going to come out in a chronological order of things, right? Obviously, the first thing that we're going to be looking forward to is going to be the new new mint, the new reveal. Uh, not the new reveal, I'm sorry, but just the, the new, the free mint that we're working on, the EFTs, the crates. So that's going to be the the biggest thing and the biggest thing. I mean, the the first thing coming in February. And then obviously the biggest thing that everyone's been waiting for is the breeding. Now, 
they're pretty much going to be coming out back to back in a sense, not like a one day apart, but like a few days apart, maybe a week apart. We want to space it out just like just a little bit so people can have, uh, you know, enough time to be excited about both things. <clears throat> So we're going to be pretty much rolling out marketing maybe at the end of this week or early next week for the, for the free mint. Um, it's also going to be accompanied with a brand new website. Uh, it's going to be a, a pretty awesome website. I, I think the website is going to be up to par with the website that we have now for, for Shiba Doge and Burn. Uh, it, might be, it, it might even be better. I personally haven't seen it, but I know what we expect out of it. And I know that we're, you know, going a completely professional route with building out the website and just building out the entire project moving forward. Right. So um, I, I think quality is something that we kind of really, really appreciate now. Obviously, when we started everything, you know, if you guys remember how our old website looked and everything like that, like we created that ourselves. I have, I remember sitting there with Alex and like, you know, designing that and building that. And keep in mind, I have zero, I have absolutely zero design skill or uh, experience or anything like that. I could, I could barely draw anything. I could barely draw a happy face on a piece of paper. So, I mean, we did it ourselves, but we realized, we knew like, yo, we need, we have to, we have to bring some professionals on, uh, on board, just like everything else that we do. We want to make sure we do it right. But, um, you know, I think we're headed in the right direction with how the UX and the UI of things are going to be working in the future. Um, I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised and even impressed with with what we're bringing to the table with, um, you know, some of our new changes to the websites and, and the equipables and just everything else. Right. So it's a. Uh, Pretty exciting, man. Pretty exciting. I know a lot of people are ready for for breeding already. Um, I know it's been dragged out for a, a little bit longer than than it should have at this point, but it's it's for a good reason, guys. I mean, the, the you know obviously we don't we don't want to delay things if we don't have to, but um, in this scenario, in this case, there were some things that needed to be done before the release happened. So it's better it's better this way. Believe me, or believe me when I say that um, we're not just delaying it just to delay it or anything like that, that it, everything is being done in a, in an order that we believe is going to be most beneficial to the project, um, short term and long term. Um, obviously, uh, staking is going to be a big one too. staking will come out after breeding comes out. So that's, um, that's going to be a, a, another big one that people are going to be looking forward to. Um, and staking will come out after um, you know breeding comes out for for one main reason. That's because obviously everyone's going to want to breed their NFTs and everyone's going to want to do you know all of the customizations and all that stuff with their where with their Shiba Doge NFTs. So um, you know if we made staking come out right now and you guys went and staked your your Shiba NFTs or Doja NFTs and then had to unstake them to breed, then that, that would pretty much be very annoying. And um, yeah, we, we just don't want to deal with all that. And then obviously, you know, there are the rewards that people get for staking through the whole season and whatnot. Uh, and then people will be caught up on like, Hey, why did it, you know, you got, why'd you guys do this? Now I don't qualify for the reward. And so, yeah, I mean, we thought it all through guys. And I think we're going to be, I think we're, we're pretty confident to, to, calling February a launch month for us as far as like a lot of these things coming out. Um, one other thing I want to bring up, um, obviously we respect the fact that everyone in here has, you know, different ways of expressing themselves and different ways of, you know, just vocalizing and, and all that. And I myself sometimes can be a potty mouth and I myself sometimes can say things, you know, um, Whatever we're all we're all guys we're all um, grown people right whatever uh, but when we're in the VC guys let's be respectful because we do have people who like listen to this with their kids you know um, whether it's the AMA or whether it's just a um, just a a random VC that you guys are in I, I don't I don't really care too much about the random f bomb or this or that but it's like when it becomes a when it becomes a uh, very uh, consistent thing, then that that's not what we want. You know, we want to keep it like PG 13. We don't need to keep it PG, but let's keep it PG 13 because there are people who listen, 
listen with their kids and there are people who act like this is a family friendly project guys let's let, let's uh let's respect that let's respect the people that that are involved and the people that actually want their kids to learn about crypto and learn about blockchain and learn about communities and learn about how how awesome of a thing it is for us to be able to you know come on and do things like this every week and um you know have have built a community like this over the past year so uh, just wanted to throw that out there. You know, we don't. I don't want to be having to start muting people or anything like that. I'm sure everyone will understand. And you know, like admins or even you don't even have to be admin. Like if you're just uh, just anybody chilling in the voice chat. If you see someone doing that, just you know, like mention it. Be like, yo, bro, like keep it keep it uh tone it down a notch. And I think we're I think we're we'll be good. <clears throat> Other than that, the burnathon is pretty much one day away from ending or is it ending tonight i don't know i have to check but it ends on the 31st at i believe midnight so if that were the case it would pretty much end in the next what seven eight nine nine hours so i think we had a pretty successful burnathon i haven't checked the leaderboards yet like i said i've, I've barely been back home and on my computer i haven't even turned on my laptop yet uh, it's completely dead. I'm on my PC right now, and my PC has uh, none of the stuff that I need other than Telegram. So I'm right now. If you guys see me, you guys are gonna laugh. I'm like a complete mess, right? But um, super rejuvenated, super super happy that I went on this vacation because I I didn't know how badly I needed it until until I got there and kind of like turned my brain off and. Auto man 87 says, wouldn't it end in about 24 hours ish? I, I think so, man. Um, don't take my word for it. Look, look at the facts and what the information was released. I'm like I said, I'm, I'm just getting back and I'm kind of like, Oh, there we go. There's a timer on the website. See, I didn't even know that cause I didn't even check, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so yeah, there's a timer on the website. So don't, don't listen to me. I don't know anything. Um, Back to what I was saying, like I didn't know how badly I needed this vacation until I got there and turned my brain off and realized, like, hey, I was I was a robot for the last year and I was, you know, just a complete workaholic and just completely, um, it was good. Like, don't get me wrong, I I love that and and I felt like something was missing out of my life during the you know two weeks that I was gone, but it was important. Um, a refresher is very necessary for people. If you guys can afford or have the not afford but have the chance to like you don't even have to go on vacation but just take time off from your work or take time off from what you're doing and just kind of like be yourself and not have to worry about that it's, it's definitely something that's super important that people you know some people can't do it because they they literally can't take time off and i i know people like that too and it's tough man so it's like I, if you guys are locked into a job and, and, and whatnot just keep your heads up man keep your heads up keep keep hustling because you know there is a there is a brighter pasture to to the things that you guys are aiming to achieve right i mean me personally i before before i made it in crypto before i made it in some of the businesses that i, I had started i i was you know, dealing with a lot of those issues myself. And I, I thought I would never find a way out. I thought I was going to always be stuck, you know, in that nine to five in the paycheck to paycheck thing. But I knew like, I knew that, you know, I just have to keep work. I, I knew I was smart enough to figure a way out. I just didn't know what it was going to be. Um, obviously a little bit of luck was involved in the amount of success that I saw. Um, just because obviously Shiba and Doge went absolutely bonkers, but even if it weren't for Shiba and Doge, and let's say that I had never invested a single dollar into crypto, I, I still would have been I still would have been better th off than what I had initially expected, considering I had still opened the businesses that I opened. Because those businesses that I did open were before I made it in crypto anyway. So keep working hard, guys. Keep keep trying to achieve what you you know what you want to achieve and it will happen but it's not going to be easy man uh, i'm just telling y'all it's not going to be easy you just have to be persistent <clears throat> um that's pretty much all i wanted to say roof is going to be 
be spinning a wheel, um, but we'll spin that wheel before we end the AMA. We'll go into some questions. I know some people have some questions, and I know some people want to just speak about whatever they want to speak about. Even if you don't have a question and you just want to say something, feel free. Uh, it's going to be an open floor. I feel like I have more energy during this time of the day too, which is good. Moving forward, we'll have you know more better quality AMAs as well. But Leo's back, baby. Back to work. Let's go. Hey, hey, Leo. It's ADO, man. Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, man. So, so you you were talking about you know work and stuff like that, but but what I wanted to say was, man, man, huge respect to you and the team. Uh, within fifteen to thirty minutes of me pointing that shit out to y'all. I mean, it was fixed and everything was working great. And, you know, for, for someone who works you know, four months at a time, 12 hours a day, seven days a week, like for, for y'all to jump on that as quick as you did and, and fix it as quick as you did, there's billion dollar companies that, that don't fix stuff like that as quick as y'all did. It takes them days upon days and weeks upon weeks. And, and y'all had it done in 30 ish minutes, man. And, and huge respect to y'all. I appreciate it. And now I just got to keep my eye on that that dang floor again. Try to pick up some more some more pairs. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, also, you know, big shout out to you for pointing. You're the first one to point it out to me. And you know, when you did point it out to me, I I I didn't even I didn't even believe you that it was a like a completely screwed up thing across the board. I was like, oh man, it's probably it's got to be something that is just like. Exclu exclusive to him, you know, because I even bought a token. I bought one token and it worked. And I was like, okay, if the buys work, then the sales have to work. But um, and, and that's anyway, what I was you know, thinking too, man. Like, like I, yeah. I bought immediately after I pointed it out. I bought like a couple more times after that, and it worked just fine. It was just yeah. the, the swaps, the the, the sales exactly, that weren't man. working. And so yeah, I thought so, it was so a swap. Yeah, so we sent it over. We sent I sent over the screenshots that you sent me and all that over to our development team, our engineers, and you know, in literally like ten minutes, they kind of came back to me with with the fix, and they're like, "All right, this is what needs to be done." So, I mean, it's super important, and we take it very seriously when things like that do happen, which is the main reason why um, we were able to fix it so quickly is because we know that there are you know thousands of people out there that rely on us to have products that work you know and and if they don't work they expect it to work very quickly <laughs> and and that's that's how i expect people to to be too in the space because it's not like you said you know million dollar billion dollar companies can't can't roll fixes out like that but that's because they have to get approval from their boss and then that boss has to get approval from their boss and then this and that and it's like you know it's so centralized rather to when you know, we're decentralized and, you know, we can, we can control pretty much anything that needs to be fixed on, on the spot, on the fly without having to go and ask a boss or a manager or whatever for approval to do it. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, having a team that's able to diagnose things, understand things and, and be able to be responsible and uh, accountable for, for things. And what, you know, mistakes do happen here and there. It's it, it, and this pro uh, this problem that happened today wasn't because of a mistake. It was something because of, uh, I guess, uh, Uniswap uh, rolled out an update, and then that update caused something in our swap and Liquify to to um, get changed or not changed, but need to be updated. Yeah. yeah. And, so so when they rolled out yeah. the update, their numbers changed, but y'all's didn't, and they had to match. Exactly. Through. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And since burn is like so different and has, you know, like a true burn mechanic and this and that. I mean, I'm not a coder, so I don't understand really. But, you know, the guys that we we, we do have, um, they understand fully. I mean, our, our coding is pretty much as good as it gets, I believe. You know, the, the guys that we hired and the, the dev team that we have, they're, you know, they've worked on some of the, the biggest things in web three and web two um so we we didn't skimp out on on coding part of things you know obviously we we even have um some community members that are helping us out on the website um you know 
cause crypto kinu shout out to you if you're in here uh he's a great coder too man we didn't know he's he's that good until after a few months of dealing with him and talking to him but he's he's really really good on on the website side of things i'm sure he's good on a lot of other things too but we haven't seen it yet um you know we haven't experimented with him on other things other than the website but you know i'm looking forward to to building new relationships with people moving forward too and you know, hopefully we could create some jobs for people in the future. But as of right now, our main priority is to onboard as many professional people as we possibly can. Uh, right now, well, last year when we started Shiba Doji, it was just me, it was Peter, it was Max, and it was Alex. And, and we had one one developer that, you know, pretty much wrote the code up with, with Peter and helped him out and whatnot. So it was pretty much five people. And... <clears throat> Now, one year later, it's we're approaching 25, 26, something like that. So, so we've been able to hire a pretty solid workforce. You know, people on the, the uh, marketing side of things, people on you know the social side of things, the development side of things, and you know the comic book and you know all this stuff. So, so we've we've actually been able to create a bunch of jobs. We've actually been able to employ a bunch of people, and we're 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 employing great talent because we believe that um i i personally and from the you know deepest part of my heart believe that everything that we're doing in our ecosystem is going to be a top project in the future and the reason why i believe that is because if you if you involve enough luck and if you involve enough talent into two things into one thing then it's bound for success right and luck that's something we can't control but the talent and the hard work that's something that we can control and we have enough money to fund it for however as long as we want you know so um we can continue to we can continue to fund we can continue to build we can continue to work hard and the luck will come whenever it comes that's something that's out of our control but we know that we can bring quality stuff to to web 3 and not even web 3 only but literally web 2 and web 4 as well in the future um we know we can bring quality um we know that everything that we bring to the table is stuff that we know that other people like us and other people like you guys are going to appreciate and enjoy and we know that you know there isn't anybody out there that's doing it the way that we are as far as you know i feel like you know all of our community members are our friends other people don't look at their community members as their friends or their peers or whatever they come in and they look at them as their you know as their community and they feel like they're the boss or this or that you know that's that that's that's what differentiates us from from other people is you know this is a home for people not just a not just a place for you guys to come and like you know try to be dgens or anything like that like you know we've we've, we've adapted out of that any update on the golden ticket airdrop chris says uh yes there is an update on the golden ticket airdrop uh that is going to happen pretty much around the same time frame as the crates it might even happen before it uh i believe i got a slack notification from our artists uh yeah so i'm looking at the art for it right now i don't know if i'm safe to share this because i don't know if it's a final version or if anyone on the team is going to get pissed if i share it but the golden ticket art from from my knowledge from what i'm looking at is pretty much ready so so that should be coming out very very soon too uh, probably right around the same time as the crates or before uh and we will have a reveal this week uh, teambo is asking if it'll be tonight uh teambo it won't be tonight it will be this week though um first we have to uh, we still have to make a couple airdrops to some of the Mint Monday winners that, that we're going to spin the wheel for today. And I believe the Mint Monday winners from the last wheel still have to get their airdrops. So um, we'll send those airdrops out. We'll make sure everybody everybody got their unrevealed stuff. And, and then we'll have a reveal. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or the day after. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted in the chat. I'll let you guys know when the uh, reveal will happen um, prior to it actually even happening. But but it will for, for sure 100% be this week. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I can share with you, though, Chris, uh, you know, regarding your question. 
the golden ticket is going to be kind of similar as far as like the the image and the um the video style of the the golden ticket goes it's going to be similar to how the burn cards graphic is um you know how the burn card is kind of like a a moving asset um and it kind of like plays like a video on your screen the golden ticket is going to be pretty similar to that so it's going to look pretty cool man hey i'll say one more thing leo and then, and then i'll let other people talk but uh yeah. you know the the, the ex-wife always told me my impatience would would never pay off and and it finally paid off today when when i was <laughs> trying to you know sell and everything and, and we figured out what that what the heck was going on but uh and and now she's uh she's uh um, trying not to cuss but she's uh she's regretting not getting into nfts and uh crypto when i got into it with with this project but uh yeah man uh i, I love it i got 100 percent trust in y'all like i said m much respect for for uh jumping on that shit as quick as you did yeah of course man of course bro hey man I, i'm a very impatient person too and and sometimes my impatience makes me um <laughs> make some wrong decisions too but some you know sometimes it could be a blessing sometimes you're the first to do something because you're impatient right and then don't let don't let don't let the way that your um personality dictates like the choices you make try to like trap you try to train yourself to become more patient because like i've i've made some wrong choices from being impatient too um in the past and even now sometimes i'm impatient on certain things but i know where patience matters and where patience needs to be practiced like you know in your scenario it, i don't think it's that bad because you know from what you explained to me uh the reason why you were impatient was because you were trying to buy something um off from the nfts and you were you were afraid that somebody else would buy it before you did so i mean that's not that's not being impatient man that's that's just uh yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you yeah, want something so, you want it <laughs> and i've done it a couple times over the last couple of months like like i just when i saw the floor drop i'd sell some shiba doge or burn and i i try to like sweep the floor um but but what she got at was you know the the whole uh the bitcoin era I got impatient with Bitcoin and I sold too early. So she tries yeah. to throw that in my face all the time. But now that Shiba Doge is out and Burn is out, you know, she, she's uh, second guessing her decisions on that. Yeah, man. I mean, that's what that's how it is with everybody, right? Everybody, everybody is a know it all until until they get proven wrong. And then they're like, dang, you know, I, I mean, it's that's life, bro. That's life. And I mean. It is what it is, you know. The, our our doors are always open for everybody, and it, it, even right now, like uh, I'll tell I'll tell anyone, you're still extremely, extremely, extremely early to pretty much everything that's happening in crypto. There's, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, man. I mean, there's there's so much growth potential, and there's so much opportunity in the space, and especially I, I believe in our project too, because you know we're barely scratching the surface. Like Shiba Doge uh, is still in its infancy man i mean we have so many big plans we have so many big things that we want to do that it's just like it's premature for us to actually even talk about some of the ideas that we have because you know those ideas are just concepts for the time being but we're figuring out ways on how we can make those like you know non uh realistic ideas realistic and you know it as technology advances and as as you know the space advances you know some of these things that sound pretty unrealistic right now are going to be a, a very there's a very big chance that they're going to be a reality in the future so i think we're we're setting ourselves up for success man and you know that this is where you got to practice patience because you know not nothing happens overnight nothing good happens overnight at least unless you're like extremely lucky one of the lucky guys but <laughs> <laughs> um it's well, like well, you know like, it's been working out for me so i'm gonna keep doing what i've been doing with the, the buying yeah. and the selling and and the sweeping um everyone yeah, but, yeah, yeah. everybody has their methods bro you got to do what works for you 
Yeah. So so do we have a definitive date on the the free mint yet or the the breeding going live? Um it will be pretty much announced like either either this week or like this upcoming weekend we'll have a for sure date hopefully uh but it's gonna happen in january for sure that, that that's what we're aiming for but i don't want to i don't want to throw february. a date february i'm sorry we're already in okay. january yeah february <laughs> correct <laughs> sorry about that um so yeah i don't want to throw a, a date out I, I could tell you like our target date is like mid-february like 14 15 16 17 like around then but okay we're gonna yeah so we're gonna have an update from our uh, our UX UI team that's working on like this website that I was saying. They have a deadline that they want to finish by the seventh, so they want to finish the website by the seventh. Um, so, considering that you know we get an update from them this week and and they let us know like, hey, the website will for sure be done and ready to go on the seventh, then we'll have we'll have a better outlook on on kind of like setting a a concrete date as to when we want to release all that and, and and everything right so um yeah i mean we're we're good man i think february is for sure going to be jam packed uh but you got to like kind of be you know staying updated in our pinned messages or even like listening to the these amas just you know to get the full spiel on things because um we are definitely going to be releasing those you know the dates and information on everything very soon and i i, I know it sucks that we don't have the official dates because like yeah i'm putting myself in the, in the shoes of a like community member and i'm like damn you know like these guys you know every week they tell us this week or next week or whatever but uh we're, we're just trying to do it right guys we're just trying to make it so that everything was proper everything is up to par and up, everything is of good quality before we you know pull the trigger on things and you know, you know how it is on on blockchain. When once it's out there, it's out there. <laughs> We're not trying to launch V twos, so you got to do it yeah. right the first time. Uh, I can't speak for anyone else in the community, but me personally, like I have no problem having a no definitive date. Like like every every time y'all are giving us a a roundabout, sometime in that roundabout, y'all have delivered, and and that that's that's what's important. Most projects don't do that. They'll give you a roundabout, and then two or three months after that roundabout is when they finally freaking deliver. Versus, yeah, with within the week or two that 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 y'all have been doing. So, yeah, like, and like I said, I, I love this project. I'm here to the end. Eight hundred eighty-eight years, baby. But, <laughs> um, what what about breeding? Do do y'all know the exact? rewards for the next breeding system or how long it's or season or how long it's going to be the staking season um well we still have to have an yeah, ama staking. to, to discuss all of all of that stuff um i have everything on like pretty much a spreadsheet and i have everything uh, written down i don't know it off the top of my head to pretty much get into it right now and i even if i did remember it off the top of my head i i wouldn't share it right now because i do want to have like a dedicated uh, full on AMA just for that when we do announce it, because I know people Perfect. are going to have questions and I know people are going to, you know, it's just something for everyone to get excited about too, moving forward. So, you know, once, once the, the breeding and the crates are all, all said and done, we'll have a, we'll have a full, full fledged, uh, uh, staking season three AMA and, and we'll go from there. Um, but, but back to what you were saying, man, yeah, sometimes it does take a while for us to get things out there. Um, the main reason is because we're paranoid about our work, right? We want to make sure everything is, <laughs> everything is perfect. So we'll, we'll be like done with something that we like fully ready. It's one button away from launching. We'll be like, all right, time to re audit it from the very beginning. We have to look at every line of code. We have to look at everything. We have to test everything. And then our developers are like, dude, we, we've done it like 10 times. We're like, whatever. It's okay. One more time. Let's just do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're just paranoid, man. We want to we want to make sure we give you guys good products and and uh, just quality Practice stuff. So perfect, brother. That's right. I rather I rather you know be paranoid about the work and double check it a hundred times and you know be safe rather than do it quick and send send something out there and it be broken and a lot of people you know get their money stuck in there or or something that's not up to par or up to standard of you know what we want. So. I'd rather take the slow route, man. 
Uh, I got you. I got you. Hey, yeah, hey I saw Sonny just send a message. I, I, I think you should address that. Give us a little Sonny, something. Sonny burn. says, Leo, give us a little something, something about burn. Okay. I'll give you guys the quick hint. I'll give you guys the quick hint. Um, this is the only thing I'm going to give you, though. So don't ask for anything more until the burn AMA happens. But mm -hmm. after. Uh, after the burnathon is said and done with, um, Burns tokenomics will pretty much be changed for forever moving forward. And uh, I won't say what the tokenomics are being changed to or, or or anything like that, but you guys will see the tokenomics will be updated. There will be uh, new tokenomics being introduced to to the Burn project. And yeah, that's that's what I'll that's what I'll tell you guys. Uh, it's not. It's not everything that's happening, but it's a small thing, a small change um, that we think is going to be a a big one moving forward, especially with some of these bigger exchanges that want to see things like that um, be implemented. So, yeah, and we are talking. We we did reach out to a couple exchanges too regarding burn, just to kind of see what kind of deals they would give us and what kind of uh, opportunities there are on exchanges. So. So we're talking to a couple of agents here and there. So, you know, we'll, we'll see if we get the right exchange, then, then we'll announce an exchange listing. But as of right now, it's just talks and, you know, chit chat back and forward. Um, nothing crazy though. I, I don't want anyone to get like excited over or, you know, hyped or anything like that over exchanges because uh, I do want to, to, you know, remind you guys an exchange is just an exchange and it's not like a game changing thing that sends you to the moon or anything like that, you know, but, you know, people in this, in this space have a tendency of getting very excited over exchange listings. Exchange listings are a normal thing. Don't, don't think they're going to send it to a billion dollar market cap or anything like that. <laughs> but, you know, there, there may be some, some new listings for burn in the future, uh, in the near future. Um, Roof, you wanna, should we spin the wheel? Yeah, yeah, whenever you're ready, yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, okay. me, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go. There wasn't that many mints this week, so the wheel is a lot smaller than it was last time. So we're gonna pick that five winners. Okay, Just let me know when you're ready. So the start of the year. Yeah, give me one second. I'm just typing something out in the chat so I can write okay. the winners in. So Mint Monday winners, one Shiba Army, NFT each. All right, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. First spin. To land it on seven nine three eight. Seven nine three eight. Congratulations. So that's the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Mm -hmm. So pretty much, if you're a winner, you're gonna you're gonna get a unrevealed. <clears throat> The unrevealed yeah. Shiba Army. Damn. Hold on a second. It didn't remove it. It didn't it's, remove it. That's okay. uh, I have it written down. 7938. If it lands on the same one again, we'll just respin it. I have, it, I have okay. it written down. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. 794. Or two. Congratulations. Let's go three. Seven, nine, three, seven. 
Ja. Seven nine three two. Yep. Last one, yeah. Yeah, last one. Here we go. Seven nine three nine. Cool. Congratulations Ooh. to you guys. If you're a winner, um, go ahead and pin that in the chat there. So those are the five winners. <clears throat> Let's see, Sarah's asking, could you go over the Burnathon prizes, please? Is there a wheel for everyone, or is it just top five and tens? So um, for the Burnathon prizes, let me open this back up so I don't give you guys the wrong information. <clears throat> so there will be two leaderboards. So it's going to be the top buys and the top burns. Um, there's going to be a, a top five wheel, a top 10 wheel, and five random participants. So there is a chance for you to win if you're a random participant too. Like you don't have to be a top five or a top 10. There will be five random people too. Um, but obviously, you know, that's going to be a much bigger pool than if you were in the top five or top 10. Uh, the grand prize for the top five wheel would pretty much be a 1 billion burn token prize. And there's going to be a top five for both the top buys and the top burns. So there will be pretty much identical wheels for both. Um, the top 10 wheel grand prize would be 250 million burn tokens. And for the five random participants from both top buys and top burns, it'll be 10 million burn tokens. So I uh, don't know exactly how much that is in in dollars or ETH or anything like that. Uh, you guys can you guys can look into that and and figure it out for yourselves. But it is a pretty decent amount. It's a it, especially the one billion burn tokens is, is a very decent amount of tokens. It's almost a max wallet. Um, but yeah, those are, those are going to be the prizes for the burnathon. So, so Leo, just a, just a quick clarification. So for the top five burns, grand prize yeah. is 1 billion, right? Is that a the billion? Same? Is yeah. There, so is there, is there two top five prizes, one for the burn and one for the buy? Yeah. So there'll be two leaderboards. There'll be, yeah. Buys and burns. Yep. Okay. So it's 2 billion in total between the two. Right for for the right. top five burns and buys. Okay. Right, right. And I think don't and you know I think we're going to be doing it the same way that we did the the Shiba Doge one, where you know the the grand prize is on a wheel with a bunch of other big prizes. So it's not going to be like, hey, if you win that wheel, you're uh, guaranteed the one billion. You're guaranteed a chance to win the one billion. But you know, there's a lot of other big you know, nice prizes as well too. That's just the grand prize that, that would come with it. Like I believe on the, the Shiba wheel, we had like, you know, um, uh, mutant, uh, not mutant, but board ape, uh, dog NFTs, the kennel NFTs, which were worth like 10 ETH each or something like that. But, uh, yeah. obviously this one's a little bit of a smaller, uh, prize pool compared to what we did with Shiba Doge because we gave away like 40 grand or something like that when, when we did the Shiba Doge one and, and one of the community members actually hit the grand prize, you know, they won, they won the 500 quint, which was like $40,000 yeah. worth of Shiba Doge, which is nuts, man. So. Well, I, I think the, the, if, if somebody hits that, that 1 billion, I think at the current price, uh, I can't remember for sure, but I, I think it was like somewhere between five and 10 K. At the oh, for sure, yeah. At, at the, so, yeah, I, I think it's it's got to be more than five k. It is about seventeen, right? Seventeen k. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I may be thinking of the two hundred fifty mil then, but yeah. let me double check. Probably I'll 20, check for you guys. Probably twenty k now. Re regardless, it could be twenty k. It, it's still like astronomical. 
Yeah, it's it's game changing for yeah. people, man. You know, like it, it turns you into a instant whale. As of right now, as of right now, three fifty one PM PST on the thirtieth, one billion burn tokens is worth twenty thousand one hundred seventy five dollars. There you go, man. I guess that. <laughs> Let's yeah. <laughs> to keep it PG thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Let's fucking go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um. But yeah, no, that's a huge prize, man. That's a that's a that the max wallets um are pretty much 1.5 billion. So this is pretty much as close to a max wallet, you know, for for people who. If you have more than five hundred million and you win the one billion, you're going to be over a max wallet anyway. But but right now during the buy event, there isn't even a max wallet, so you know you, you can own you can own ten billion if you wanted. So so and that that was the other thing I was going to ask. After the buy event is over and the 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 whole max wallet thing goes back into effect, if, if someone were to win that one billion, right? Yeah. And they had over five hundred mil of burn prior to that they wouldn't be able to buy anymore right yeah they if they wanted to buy more they'd have to buy it on the new wallet because um okay you know yeah it wouldn't let them it wouldn't let them buy more but i think we're gonna you know when we change the tokenomics and stuff i one of the one of the main topics of discussion were was raising the max wallet um limit by a little bit too so you might see the max wallet limit be raised by by a few points um or maybe it'll just stay on on cap nah i don't think it'll stay on cap we won't we won't keep it on cap but but we will raise it by a little bit i think or we might just keep it the same i don't know but i i, I do think 1.5 billion you know it's 0.15 percent of the total supply so it is a pretty small amount for a max wallet uh but we'll see we'll see um i don't know if there's going to be people passing that 1.5 billion mark because the higher the market cap gets the harder it becomes to get a max wallet you know like right now it's worth like 31,000 something like that to get a max wallet but at you know at 30 mil market cap it'd be worth three hundred thousand dollars to get a max wallet so um yeah. well, well like like with me i i have burn in in multiple wallets but yeah if i if i were to ever transfer them all into one wallet would, would it stop me because of the max wallet quantity? It, it, yeah, if you if you pass the max wallet quantity, it won't it won't let you. It'll say it'll say um, it'll give you an error saying that it exceeds the the maximum allowed holdings on one on one wallet. So okay. it's not like, it's not like the transaction would go through and you'd lose those tokens. It just wouldn't let you make the transaction in the first place. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Any Leo, questions over on YouTube, Roof? Hey, Leo, quick question, bro. It's me, Chivo. Not today. Yo, what's up, Chivo? How are you? Hey, not, doing good, man. Hey, welcome back, too, bro. Um, I got a question, though. So for the – I just clarify on my end. To qualify for the 1 million burn for the top five, right, is that specifically for the buys, or is that going to be for buys and also 1 million for the top burn? Yeah, exactly. Sense? Exactly. It would it would be for both. So so there would be a wheel for the top buys for top five, and there will also be an identical wheel for the burns for the top five. So so in that um, in that case, you'll be giving out for for those top five, and that case, you'll be giving out two billion. Is that right? Considering yeah, considering they both uh, win the grand prize. Yeah, it's like Correct. if the yeah uh, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, if they both win the grand prize, then yeah, we we'd give out two billion. Oh. Thank you. Um, no problem, bro. Yeah, I guess, I guess on YouTube, I think uh, because of the new time, it's a bit less busier, but people get used yeah. to the new time. I, I expect, yeah, I expect it to be a little bit off. Um, you know, for the first couple of weeks until people get used to it. Uh, I think it's better timing all around, man. Um, I'm, I'm looking at like time zones, you know, across the world and it, it, it's just better. It's just better. I know some people in the U S might still be working, but honestly, it's like 
a lot of our demographic, you know, a lot of our get demographic is in the US, but also a, a bigger part of our demographic is people who are in the UK or people who are on the East Coast in, in the US, which is still like six o'clock and they're, yeah. yeah, they're off work. So, so just have the question actually come in. <laughs> um, <laughs> How ironic. I uh, no. So um, they're, they're asking that, I haven't heard much about Shiba Doge lately. So the token, what's going on with that? Is there any, anything happening with that? Well, we just did like a lot of a lot of things for Shiba Doge, right? We just came off by uh, doing a couple big events and everything like that. See now, guys, like we we have a, a ecosystem of things to to focus on, and obviously, we we take priority in Shiba Doge because Shiba Doge is always the top priority. But Shiba Doge is also program to do what it's going to do. Shiba Doge is something that we've introduced the the layout of the tokenomics since day one. And, and we kind of explained to everybody what we want to see out of Shiba Doge moving forward. And we let everybody know that like Shiba Doge is going to be an ecosystem token. And, and what I mean by ecosystem token is that it's going to not only be Shiba Doge, but Shiba Doge is going to be like the mother of, of, of all the other things that we work on too. So uh, you know, if all of our other uh, ventures see success, Shiba Doge will in turn also see success. If Shiba Doge sees success, all of the other things that have to, have to do with Shiba Doge will also see success. So it all works hand in hand. And for us, it's 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 fun to actually like take turns prioritizing things. You know, one month might be Shiba Doge, the next month it might be Burn, the next month it might be the NFTs. Um, it, it gives us a nice uh, change of of tides too, so we don't get burnt out working on any singular in any singular thing, and not just that, but it keeps things fresh, it keeps things moving forward, and it gives us time to actually develop things on the back end. For for example, for Shiba Doge, while we're working on you know introducing things for Burn, and while we're introducing things for the NFTs, you know we have a team of guys who who have like assigned to kind of like you know build something that we kind of assigned them to build in the background, um, you know while other things are being done and prioritized at the current moment. So, I mean that that's that's the best answer I could give you. It's not like you know, just because we're focused right now on uh, the Burnathon and we're focused on the EFTs, you know, that doesn't mean we're not focused on Shiba Doge. There's a lot of things happening for Shiba Doge and, you know, everything that we do, even the Burnathon and even the, the EFTs that are coming out, they have literally everything to do with Shiba Doge. So it's, it's all about making sure everything is successful and it's all about making sure that we continue to bring quality products out because, you know, let's say these EFTs, Changed the entire game of, of uh, these EFTs. Changed the entire game of what NFTs are. Uh, it's going to bring a lot of attention and a lot of awareness and a lot of eyes to Shiba Doge, to Burn, to Doge Army, to Shiba Army. Pretty much everything we got going on. So it's uh, pretty important for us to be able to balance, um, you know, everything out. And this isn't going to be our only lineup. You know, in the future we're going to have more things. We're going to have. Uh, you know more ecosystem uh, types of tokens that will be, that will be introduced, not like in the coming months or anything like that, but in the future. You know we have we have big plans for what we want to do with um, with our ecosystem and be able to introduce uh, you know tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to to a thriving ecosystem of things. And it all starts with making sure that the ones that we built currently are are you know uh, successful and are able to you know change the change the space in whatever way that it can sounds good to me that's how it should be hey i, I got a question leo what's up bro hey um uh, i remember last time you, you guys said it was okay to leave your NFTs in the uh, uh, on the staking site for a little while longer. I've left mine in there since. I haven't taken them out. Are they still okay, or should I get them out now? Or yeah, no, they're they're still okay. They're safe in there. Um, you can get them out whenever you want. Um, okay. You're gonna want to get them out before before season three starts, so that you can yeah, actually definitely. you know breed them and and then get them into season three. But but yeah, you're safe, man. We keep those. 
we keep those contracts open because we do know pe some people, you know, throw it in there and they forget uh, that, you know, they have the NFTs in there and you know, we don't want to, we don't want to screw anybody over. So we make sure to keep those open and accessible at all times. Yeah. I've, I've been busy. I've, I missed a few of these uh, um, VCs and I, I've listened to some updates, but I don't think I've caught a, a date on that uh, season three. And maybe it's because you guys didn't give one, but I, I was just wondering if I had a little more time. So thank you. Yeah, yeah, you got all the time you you got all the time you want, bro. There's there's no no absolute rush to to do anything. Um, you know, even if you left them in there for ten years, you know, you'd essentially be able to go back in and and take it out whenever you want. But okay, in the, yeah, in the future. The way that we want to, like, if we could figure out how to do it um, with the gas and all that, we we want to be able to update the the staking contracts for them to actually like return your NFTs after the season is over. We still haven't figured out a good way to do it with the gas and all that yet, but um, you know, m maybe in the, in the next few seasons we'll we'll figure something out. All right, sounds good. Thank you, man. <clears throat> For sure, brother. No problem. Hey, Leo. It's me again. It's 3 a.m. here. But before I jump off, I just wanted to say, if anyone from Uniswap is listening, y'all y'all are crackheads. Uh, <laughs> I, I just sent you another screenshot from them, Leo. But essentially, they, they were saying there was nothing wrong on their end and that, that it was all y'all and that y'all messed up. And I was like, no. You know, y'all y'all updated or y'all swapped your uh, liquify functions, right? And and that's what caused the issue. Burn immediately updated it once they were notified, and everything is working just fine now. Yeah, well, so you you see what it is, bro? Like the, these people who it's kind of it's kind of a bad deal, but the people who kind of like give you tech support on Discord or Telegram, like on these sites. They're, they're reading off a script. They don't know anything. They don't know how uh, anything in Web3 works. Or, or even if they do know a little bit, they're still reading off that script and they're still following that company guideline or procedure or whatever. So, you know, they, they say and do everything they can to get, um, you know, all the blame off of them because they don't want to deal with anything. They don't want to deal with issues or problems or having to, um, you know, roll out updates if they don't have to. So yeah, they're they're gonna they're gonna be arrogant about things like that, man. I, they they were <laughs> for anybody wondering, Uniswap was like, uh, so so uh, Otto reached out to to Uniswap and was like, hey, I'm having trouble swapping burn, and and the tech support guy at Uniswap replied to him, he's like, oh, dude, you got to be careful. That that's a honey pot. No one can sell that. It's like, <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Like, what if that was just like a new like investor that didn't know anything about what we're doing or anything like that? They'd immediately be like, oh my God, I, I lost my money or I invested in the honeypot. It's like, no, man, like, dude, at least take and five I, minutes to do a little bit of research before giving a, a an answer like that and, you know, scaring people. Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't even five minutes. It, it was literally like a minute and a half before they responded to me. And I found out why they told me that. And that's because they're using honeypot.is and token sniffer. That's that's all yeah. they do. That is all they do. And the honeypot.is is like a, a privately run thing or whatever. Like they take donations and stuff to to do it. Yeah. But, yeah. And I saw I went on their website. I checked it out. They're like, if we report wrong information, please uh go into our telegram and let us know. It's like <laughs> then don't oh, report yeah. it I, at all if there's I a did. chance that it's gonna be wrong. Oh, I definitely went on there and reported that that they were jacked up as far as burn. So yeah, I was gonna do that too, but I, I didn't have time to. I actually added it to my notes uh, on my to do list of things. <laughs> I wanted to go in there and and give them a piece of my mind, but it's good that you did. I'm a, I'm gonna check their their website here in like a, another day or two, and and hopefully they have it updated. <clears throat> Let's see. Looks like Snowman has a question. Burn buy contest. Top five buys go on a wheel and have a chance to win one billion burn tokens. Top ten burn buys go on a wheel for a chance to win two hundred fifty million. Also, five random buyers will go on a wheel for a chance to win ten million burn tokens. Burn token true burn contest. Top five burner. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong, bro. That that's that's exactly that's exactly uh, the way that it's gonna happen. 
So somebody in the top five has a chance to win 1.25 billion burn tokens. Oh, technically, yeah. If they win the top 10, too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That, that, that's what I'm freaking talking about. I didn't. I never thought about it that way. But yeah, you're right. If they win, if they win both wheels, then yeah. Technically, it's it's one point two six. If they win the random one too. <laughs> hey man, if you if, if you'd listen to me, it's fifty fifty chance that that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> for for me, everything is fifty fifty. Either it happens or it doesn't. My, I, I used to tell my dad all the time because my dad would pay play the lottery. You know, he would buy lottery tickets. Like he'd walk into Seven Eleven and buy a lottery ticket like every week. And and I would tell him, I'd be like, Yeah, Dad, you know, it's fifty fifty chance that you're gonna win. And he'd be like, "What are you talking about, dude?" Be like, hey, either you win or you don't. He's like, "I've been playing this shit for like ten years. I haven't won anything." I'm like, "Yeah, it's fifty-fifty. Yeah. <laughs> you buy the you buy the ticket or you don't." Yeah, exactly. You win or you don't. But yeah, uh, I mean, if you think about it, it's the same way for for Violic or the other one on one that's still left out there. The Vitalik, yeah. That's that's yep. what I was saying. That's what I was saying in one of the AMAs too. I was like, it's fifty fifty to, to mint the Vitalik. But that's just my that's just my theory of things, guys. I mean, obviously that's not that's not true. It's just like a it's just like a troll thing that I like to do. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take though. Yep, that's for sure. All right, I'm All done right, talking. Guys. Like I'm, 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 I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually ready to wrap it up too. If there's no other questions, we can, we could call it here and, and rendezvous back on a Thursday AMA. All right. Sounds about good. So we'll go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. Um, moving forward, all of the AMAs will be starting at 3 PST. So, that, you know, make sure you guys uh, remember that moving forward and, yeah, February, like I said, February is going to be a big month. We 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 did great in January. January was big. You know, January actually finally made a couple green candles in the crypto world. And the, the crypto market cap finally passed a trillion dollars again. So, you know, that's something that's something to be happy about. And, you know, that's still nothing, though. We still have a long way to go and, and we still have a lot of work to do. But. We're, we're doing it one day at a time and we're making things happen, baby. So as always, if you miss Shiba, that sucks. If you miss Doge, damn, that also sucks. But if you miss Shiba Doge, and I'm sorry, but you suck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old, man. Love you guys. Yeah, Talk to y'all later. Love. If you need me, tag me in the chat. Uh, other than that, I'm out. Later. Peace. Love, peace.